What's going on YouTube? We got some good cars. Got some uh, weekly pickups that I uh, kind of found locally. Didn't get anything on the mail. Just uh, stuff that's been coming out. It's finally been hitting the stores. We got some new Matchbox uh, Q case for 2019. So I got some cool stuff. I found the Tomicas at Walmart. Got a couple of those. Found a new green light. Uh, we got the, uh, I think this is the HD truck. So this is not the SD, but the HD trucks. 69 Ford F350 dually ramp truck with a tractor. So this is going to be cool. It's a licensed tractor too. So some of the green light tractors are not licensed. They just say tractor. But it's a Ford. And then um, got some other random stuff I'll take a look at too that uh, got recently. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. Um, got a little bit of new cars there in the background to look at too while we are looking at the new stuff. So let's start out with the mainline stuff. I thought this was really cool. This this was kind of something I forgot that was uh, being released. And uh, Sandbar. Little Subaru. It's just how it comes out of the package. This would be great. You put a little green light to the small steel wheels that they make. Would look good on this car. Maybe some M2 wheels. These are really interesting. They're cab over trucks or micro vehicles. There's a whole class of these in Japan and uh, elsewhere in many countries. But a little bit of a half size vehicle. It's a rear wheel drive or four wheel drive chassis. They're going to have like a 650 to a 700 cc inline four cylinder. <laughs> so very small. It's like a motorcycle engine, really. And. Uh, in the olden days, they had these in the started in the, in the early 60s. Subaru made something like this with the 360 motor. I think those are like a four two stroke engine, but real small, three 400 cc engine, air cooled. And then in the uh, late 80s, I guess, or whatever, early 80s, they went to a liquid cooled four cylinder. So kind of an interesting vehicle. These are getting old enough, so a lot of uh, people in America are starting to import these vehicles and playing with them. But uh, they're still doing the the work overseas. So here it is, a little Subaru, good tempo work. I like it. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a zoom on there. See how that goes. Yeah. There's a sandbar tempoing. Simple base. You can see how it's a three-piece affair. The metal part there is part of the part of the interior. I also notice that the window is a little bit loose it's kind of floats in there a little bit come apart pretty easily you can see with us a little bit of brush work on it I might play with it and detail it put different wheels on it it's a cool little piece uh, looks good with other cars too so for approximate size you know we can get a 64th vehicle here let's see I think this Ford this is about what they look like in real life compared to other cars something like that very very realistic size so maybe a little bit wider <laughs> but not much not much so the very very cool thing little Subaru little utility vehicle alright so let's move on we're gonna take a look at another matchbox the Jeep recolor Willies. Artwork on that's good, by the way, too. Let's take a look at the sandbar real quick. There's the sandbar. Before we go over, <laughs> let's look at this one. Let's look at the Jeep. Got the Jeep recolor. 51 Willies. That's what it is. I'm trying to remember. What I like about this is, even though I had a yellow one in the past, and I got it somewhere in the archive but uh, loose but uh, they put the chrome base on this so I like that that makes this look a lot better that is dull gray base on this other one that I got so a little bit darker yellow color so I thought that was good they tampo the headlights taillights are on tampo so I thought that was kinda cool two little four wheel drives two little four wheels alright next we're gonna look at uh, this is a new casting I guess this is a 2011 Mini Cooper, kind of neat, kind of neat. 
See if I can find. I don't think I have the card for it. Here it is. Take a look at the card. <laughs> so, Countryman. These came in four wheel drive or front wheel. What look make this look good is if you take some paint, all that stuff that's uh, kind of matte finish there, you could paint that black, and then it would look very nice. Otherwise, the casting is cool. They use those five spoke uh, wheels, matchbox wheels. There's your base part of the side. It's the kind of thing matchbox is doing to show these fender flares. It's a good idea. Back is looking really good too. Nice, nice tampo work on that. Mini Cooper Countryman. It's a 2011. Looks to be a. It's a left-hand drive car too. So usually they'll do the the right hand, but not this time. Okay, another one I found that uh, I wanted to get real bad. Couldn't find it. Scalpers were killing me on it. Was uh, Buick. Of course, this is the the one I'm talking about. So I found it. Actually, I found multiples. Be on the lookout, Walmart shoppers. <laughs> um, they're putting out these individual shippers, and actually, they had the 124 scale and the regular scale Bigfoot uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks on there. I already had a bunch of them, so I didn't get any more. So they're putting a lot of old stuff back in there. Some other Fast and Furious premiums are coming back out through that shipper. So keep a lookout, as well as the new case of main lines. Finally found the gassers again. So excited about that. But uh, this is a cool casting. This is old, a little bit earlier period. So when they started to get a little bit more interesting, when Hot Wheels started to do stuff, it's a little bit funny scale. I don't have my Monte Carlo around here, but it's a little undersized. It has like a chop roof on it too. That doesn't. It's a little low, but the but the highlight of it is the paint. You can see how nice the paint looks. Wheel choice was good. Mainline wheel choice was nice. You know, and obviously it's got the hood. It's got some clips. We'll just take it apart. Just run my finger under there. So it's like a turbo with intercooler. <laughs> Hopefully it's a six on there. I can't really see. Yeah, it looks like it's a three ports over there. So <clears throat> twin turbo V6. And the removable roof piece, which is metal, which is really cool. And the other thing I like about it, let's do the zoom. I love the the Grand National tampo on this is done very good. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. And they do the headlight uh, signals, marker lights on the side. So very happy with that. Um, you know, it's Hot Wheels, so really doing it for the Hot Wheels. You got a pin here, slot, it goes right there. So put that in first. And it just snaps in like so. Doesn't fit the best, but not bad for a dollar twenty or whatever. <laughs> so there is our Grand National, you know, Grand National and Turbo with Buick. They were doing the 3.8 uh, V6 turbos. Uh, starting in the late 70s really and uh, they continued all the way to 87 um, at that point they were getting so good at that car tuning it that um, it was faster than the production Corvette of the year so General Motors was having an internal argument about that and kind of Corvette obviously won <laughs> but uh, that was another cool history of General Motors that Buick was really fast and so are the two trucks that they're doing because after the Buick fell the V6 was very potent with the with the with the turbo in it, so they did the Cyclone uh, pickup trucks or, uh, and the Typhoon um, SUV. So it was you know for a couple more years. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move on to some premium stuff. Um, so I think that's about it. Yeah, that I want to cover with the main lines. Just some cool stuff that came out recently um, that I thought was gonna go into the horde <laughs> all right so let's take a look at some cool stuff comica came out with their 
GTR a while ago. Um, never owned a Tomica recently. You know, growing up, they were here, uh, being sold in different stores, and they went away. Well, they've been in production, you know, forever, and they're coming back, making a splash. I did get the fry truck, but that's in the storage array <laughs> or the area of going to storage. So I won't take that out, but it's a cool vehicle. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the first wave uh, to come in. Um, looking forward to the next one. They have a Subaru Impreza. That's going to be kind of cool. But let's take a look. I took it out of the packaging already, and obviously I'll see the box. I mean, really, they have the exclusive Walmart stickers on them, but other than that, these are straight from, you know, they really don't change anything else here. They come in a blister pack, and uh, it's cool stuff. So it's an interesting casting. Of course, they have the the suspension that uh, Tomica still does. The, all the other brands are kind of going away from it. So I like that. Basic wheels, but this would be a cool chassis to do, you know, wheel swap on, of course. Paint and finish is good. These cars are made in Vietnam, not China. The funny thing about this casting is the rear window is really just metal. They just paint it black. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. The doors operate good. Typical construction. It's a right hand drive car. The nice thing about it though is the headlights are part of the the windshield. Or no, they're separate. Yeah, they're separate pieces. Grill work is done good. So this car again would lend itself nicely to being wheel swapped. You can see the molding on the hood, the way that's cast is very nicely done. So I'm, I think they hand paint the the details on the cars because you can see the brush marks there where they overdid it. That was an interesting touch. This is actually yeah, it's single. You can't see. Almost looks like you can go through that spoiler. So, a cool car. Um, just for reference, I got a uh, Hot Wheels that I wheel swapped a while ago. And you can see it says 162 scale. And who knows what the Hot Wheels is for real. You know, the GTR is actually not a, too small of a car, it's actually kind of big. It's almost as big as the Challenger, sort of. I mean, it's a little bit smaller, but has that presence. So, you can see the Tomic is larger. And you can also see that Hot Wheels casting compared to the Tomica. thought that was interesting. Alright, so, Tomica. thought that was kind of neat. Let's go back in the box for now. But, um... Uh, it's a cool one. I'll probably get the others. I think I'll be fun to, to customize them and do stuff with them and paint them. So moving up the food chain, in my opinion. Let's go to green light. Um, this is a really cool truck. Look at this thing. This is uh, HD Trucks and um, Series 16. So green light's moving right along. Got already 16th in the series. Some of these are real peg warmers, especially, uh, you know, because you're talking about $12, $14 for these things. And um, a lot of stuff they do kind of just sits around. You, you'll see stuff from two, three years ago <laughs> sit around on this. But every so often it'll do a good a good one that everybody likes. I think the tractor, since it's, like, like I said, licensed with Ford, it'll sell well. And it's a tractor that's supposed to be weathered. Um, it's got, like green light application it's almost like a walking dead one with all its mud all over it the rest looks kind of good on the wheels and green light really constructs these just like the other manufacturers like spec cast and Ertl in their 164th line it borrowed a lot of uh, cues from it especially when they snap on the front wheels on the spindle that's a very old school method Good thing I like about Greenlight is the other brands, their tires are a lot softer. Some of them are either hard plastic on the other brands or 
when you get to this type of tire you're paying the uh, 20 30 dollar mark on the the high detail 164 so this is kind of a good value they haven't made a lot of different tractors yet but hopefully they'll gain um, licensing opportunities really to do it it's your simulated three-point hitch on the back yeah the tire detail is really good on it let's take a little zoom let's see what she does so you can see the tractor they even paint the filters and uh, some of the stuff on the engine there's your headlight rolls very nicely separate steering wheel that's just a good looking unit it's got the ROPS protection so you got your rollover hoop up there look at that very cool so now the one thing the problem is when you're looking at this is that the truck which has been produced before of course and seen other days but I did like it in this I don't I don't have a Ford ramp truck I have the Chevy which was a little disappointing because the plastic is base uh, the base is plastic on this and uh, it can warp or be thin but the way it lined up on the Ford was nice and straight so I was very happy about that it's got the engine in there it's gonna be a big block Ford usually on this sort of chassis like this metal um, ramp body and then these operate pretty nice once you get them snapped in and just snap in on there it's all metal right there this is all metal so pretty durable tractors with the track on the rear track on the tractor does not fit on the, the ramp though unfortunately completely so as you can see not perfect but what it does serve as is a great shop truck uh, a lot of vehicles look nice on there. You're going to have to have a shorter wheelbase vehicle than a longer one. But uh, it's got nice simulated chocks up there on the ramp. So it holds vehicles very nicely. I think it looks very good. So, happy with this purchase. These will probably be popular. The tractor is great for the, for the background anyway. So, I'm happy with that. It's almost too perfect. It looks very good. Looks very good. Very happy with it. So, here we go. Leave that Ford back there for a minute. Another pickup we got, uh, recent. Um, I decided to do the 12 Mustang Boss uh, Auto World. Price at retail is good. It's $4.95, basically. $4.99 for one of these and um, they're awesome this one is you know one of four thousand the blue is a lot better than the yellow the yellow seems to be the one that hangs around there's the other so of course we looked at the others recently I decided to finally bite the bullet on the mustang i do like this body style car I might get one in real life hopefully <laughs> at some point and good looking stuff Auto World's hood's very thin. The wheels are perfect. The only thing that the problem is that throws them off is the rubber is a little too tall. As you can see in the light. So, kind of throws it off, makes it a little bit thicker. That's alright. This is separate plastic, so that looks really good. Nice crisp uh, spoiler on the car. Tampo line on the hood is good and so is on the roof one of the sides of the tampo on the side where it said boss was a little blurry I think it was the other side yeah looks like the take a look here kind of had like a double print on it but the blue is very pretty it's, I'm, I'm almost tempted to buy another one and take the the printing off of it it's got a Michigan plate with 302 on there. Of course, by 2012, they had the 5-liter Coyote out in the cars, which debuted in 11. So now this car is doing. So the boss of the period was between a Cobra and a regular GT. You had 444 horses. The 412 was stock, and you had, at that point, at 550 on the Shelby. 
but it you know sharply went up from there after that but uh that's what it was like in 2012 boss is another good car it had a little bit better rear gear in it uh stiff chassis it had the brembo brake package um that was available i believe and so it was a good unit and it still was a solid axle car um generation after this mustang 2015 they started doing the independent rear but this is still a solid axle car so it still is a little bit older school feeling when you drive it but they got good power driven a boss car very fun to drive very fun so cool to have in the collection with the other mustangs i got a 2010 gt um auto world so this will go very nicely next to it so there we go 302 mustang next on the list put the ford on the ford i guess there we go let's take a look at the uh, this Cadillac it's a busted knuckle garage it's a new series this is kind of like a catalog company this guy does now anyway and uh, this is series one Cadillac kind of look cool I like the color of it um, it's kind of like this dark red and it's got a cream top on it so cool looking stuff this is a 55 series 60 Fleetwood this has all the stock parts on it. It's got opening hood. Big Cadillac V8 in it. Usually these cars had power two two speed. Yeah, they're about two speed automatics on these, two or three speed, something like that. Uh, this was very early days when General Motors was making their automatic transmissions. They came in the kind of the mid to early 50s on the Buicks and Caddies and stuff like that. And so by 55, you know, the, it was a pretty proven technology. And uh, really starting on cars like this, you know, a lot of equipment. And the Series 60 was one of the largest wheelbases you can get on a four-door Cadillac car. So you can see the back here. It's got the venting. It's an old casting from Greenlight, but they did a good job with it. It's always good to have one of these in the collection. So, very good looking. You can see the base there. Nice and thick, too, which is unlike most of Greenlight's recent stuff. So, again, those are the older, because I think if I look at the copyright on here, yeah, it's a few years old. <laughs> Very nice car. Cadillac 55 Series 60 Fleetwood. So that kind of wraps it up for now. A um, couple of stuff that came in. Uh, oh. <laughs> Went to the fair. Picked up a couple of cool green lights. We'll look at those real quick. Forgot about that. This is a casting I wanted. The uh, civilian version. I just missed out on it the first time. This is a Royal Monaco. You can see the headlights, so I'm very excited about this car. This is an older release from Greenlight, um, but it's it's slick. It's really cool. Uh, it does have the police wheels. I just painted them uh, silver, but that's all right. Red interior, red top. It's a Broham edition. They even changed the taillights from the one from the police car. They do the uh, the trim. They trim them out and do the correct. Uh, uh, there you can see real quick correct trimming on that that center of it so this is a cool car um, this will go very good with everything else and uh, the other thing I finally got I got a uh, 5 liter car uh, California Highway Patrol so very excited about this one too this will look good with the other Highway Patrol cars yep I used the Mustang until it's demise and uh 93 basically when the Fox body went out of production um, Police departments went against using Mustangs although they're using them now again At various agencies Indiana State Police being one of them that uses five liter cars um, They're like 2013 14 body style cars uh, They use But uh, anyway, so good to have a nice piece of history and of course Greenlight does the five liter LX notch back very nicely they even have the window at the Mustang Tampo correctly done. So, very happy to see this car in the collection. I got it for a good price. Indiana State Fair does have a little die cast area. So, 
every year I get lucky with something. <laughs> so there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, more stuff coming in the future. Till next time.